This time I am going to call in the spirits. Matilda wants to come in so bad, hold on. I feel like I'm Matilda. I feel like I'm arguing with her. Here we go with arguing with the spirits again. I feel like we're not seeing eye to eye. My name is Alex Dixon, and I'm on a mission to connect with the sisterhood of the past. With a team of mediums, psychics, and ghost hunters, I am reaching out to see if these spirits have any advice for women in the modern age. Today, I'm going to find out what's up with the ghost of Matilda Jocelyn Gage. I thought the best place to start was at Matilda's historic home. She supposedly has unfinished business with her more famous contemporary, Susan B. Anthony, and is reportedly haunting this house. My friend Lisa will be conducting a seance tonight in the hopes of connecting with Matilda. I love these portraits of her, though. They're beautiful. She's beautiful. She's so striking looking. Matilda spent nearly 40 years working alongside Susan B. Anthony to earn women the right to vote. As Susan focused on the singular issue of women's suffrage, Matilda pushed for reform at the intersection of race, gender, and class. Welcome to the first room in your exploration of Matilda Jocelyn Gage. She was inspired by the equality and rights experienced by Native women. Actually, a lot of spiritual energy in this stuff here. Yeah. In 1890, Matilda split from the suffrage movement because of its predominant focus on white women. She spent the last eight years of her life estranged from Susan and most of her colleagues. I am actually hearing her right now. Matilda? What I'm hearing her say right now is listen closer and pay more attention than you ever have in your whole life. So she's saying it like it's very she's important. Very important. To hear that. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that message, Matilda. So up here is the library. So this is where she would meet with Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Wow. And there's actually an etching in that window of Susan B. Anthony's name. And they put out these books for us because they have Matilda's writings in them. Like she made little notes in the margins. So that's her handwriting. Yeah. I'm kind of getting a message. Do you so know who that message is? I feel like it's from Matilda. I'm going to actually tell her to, to wait right now because I think we're going to get more on that. In the seance. Yes. That she's eager to tell you some things. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask her just to hold off and wait okay. until a little later. <laughs> We're about to go into the seance that Lisa is leading, and we've invited some women from the community to participate. I've loved learning about Matilda today, but I still have some questions. I wanna know, does she have unfinished business with Susan B. Anthony? What does she think of the state of the modern world today? And are we doing enough to continue her fight for women's rights? So let's go in and see what she has to say. So we're about to start the seance this evening. At this time, I'm going to ask that all my spirit guides be present. At this time, I am going to call Matilda Gage. Matilda, I feel like, is here. Matilda wants to come in so bad. Hold on. I feel like I'm Matilda. I feel like she's going to take questions. Where did she find the courage to stand up for so many people? In my heart. Was it ever scary? I was always afraid. This world is in such chaos right now. It means that you need to have a voice. There's some of you in this room right now. Why are you afraid of the unknown? Don't be so closed. That's what's wrong with what's going on today is you're all so closed off. Open up your minds. I feel like I'm arguing with her. Here we go with arguing with the spirits again. That's what I do sometimes. Okay, you can stay, stay. It's okay. It's the knee. I think that's an a n t o n o. I think we're trying to say Anthony. And I do know she was connected to Susan B. Anthony. And I feel like, you know what, people think that we ended on a, a bad note. And we didn't. We all had the same idea and the same goal. Again, we just took different paths to get there. There's always unfinished business. We still have the same issues we had before. You need to speak up, and just because you're quiet doesn't mean that you don't have a voice. And I feel like that's Matilda's message. 
I'm gonna thank Matilda for coming in and please cut the cords of communication for this evening. And thank you everybody for your questions. And thank you. Mm -hmm. I went into this thinking that Matilda must have unfinished business with Susan B. Anthony if she's still haunting the house, but it seems like her message is that we all have unfinished business when it comes to advancing women's rights. Maybe she really is just sticking around to remind us that the fight is ongoing and that it is up to us to keep her message alive. 